Hi, today I'm going to show you how to implement merge sort algorithm using Java. In fact, I already made a video where I explain you how merge sort algorithm works. If you'd like to check it out, please click on the link on the top right side of the video and it will take you on the video that I've done that show you how you can um, that explain you how the merge sort algorithm works. So let's get started. Before we start, also don't forget to click on the notification icon and subscribe to our channel so you can receive notification upon our next video. Great. We are going to create um, a Java project that in my case, I'm going to call algorithm. You can give whatever the name you want. Inside of this project, we are going to create a class that we are going to call merge sort. This class, we are going to put it in a package called com.algo, a very simple name. Great. The first method that we are going to create is going to be a method that will not return anything it's gonna return void and we will also call this method merge sort in fact this method is gonna accept three parameter the first parameter will be the array that we would like to sort in my case it's gonna be an array of integer the second parameter is gonna be the lower bound and the last parameter is gonna be the upper bound Now, what is lower and upper bound? Let's say, for example, if we have an integer that contains, um, if we have a table of integer that, that contains seven integer, in fact, the lower bound is the index of the first element. In this case, that's gonna be zero. And the upper bound is the index of the last element that in this case is gonna be six, all right? So now remember merge sort algorithm um, is part of divide and conquer algorithm. That means we need to find out a way to divide our array into two sub arrays and we are going to do that recursively. But one of the things that I want you to know also is the lower bound should not be greater than the upper bound. And this is gonna be our condition. If the lower bound is greater than or is greater or equal to the upper bound, something is wrong. We need to stop the recursion. It's gonna be our base case. Alright? So we are going to say if lower bound is uh, lower than upper bound, it is safe. Otherwise, we are not going to do anything. If everything is fine, now we need to find out the middle so we can divide our array into two sub arrays recursively. The formula to the formula to find out the middle is equal to mid lower plus upper divided by two. And now, as we know, the middle we can divide or array into two sub array recursively. In this case, we are going to call the merge sort algorithm on the first sub array. To find out the first sub array, we say lower, middle. And the second sub array, we call the same. It's going to be middle plus one, all right? Upper. And now, after we call recursively, now it's time to merge. We need to call the merge method that will accept uh, four parameters. The first parameter is gonna be the array. The second parameter is gonna be the lower bound. The third is gonna be the middle. And the last is gonna be the upper. Now let's create this method, All right? In fact, let's create, let's make those methods static because I'm going to need to use them inside of uh, 
my main method, um, it will be easier for me to use them when they are st static. All right, great. So now because we are going to because we are going to divide our airway and sub airways um, recursively for every single time we call the merge method we need to find out the size of the right sub array and the left sub array all right so to find out the size of the left sub array that we call left size we need to say the formula is um, middle minus lower bound plus one and the right, the size of the right sub array is uh, equal to upper minus middle. Great. Until now, everything is fine. Now, now that we know the size of the of the right and the left sub array, we can create a temporary, two temporary sub arrays. All right. To do so, the first one is gonna be called left away um, we know its size and the right one is going to be called right away okay right size great now that we create our two sub arrays we need to fill them out with value from left and right size of our big array to do so we are going to create two for loops okay for int equal to zero e should be lower than left size e plus plus okay we're gonna say um, left away e is equal to the big array all right and we are going to take value from lower plus i okay we use i for the purpose of incrementation and uh, let's do the same for our right sub array we are going to say int j equal to zero j should be less than right size and we increment j and here we're gonna say right away j is equal to array okay now it's gonna be from middle plus one remember we cannot start to the middle because the middle is part of the left sub array plus j for the purpose of the incrementation all right now we fill out all two sub arrays with value from the big array now it's time to order or a way to do so let's create two um two three integer the first one will be called i it's gonna be zero the second one is gonna be j is gonna be zero and the last one is gonna be k is gonna be equal to lower the k will be used as uh, a printer to keep track of where we are inside of our big array okay now we are going to see while i is lower than left size and j is lower than right size so we're gonna make the comparison we're gonna say if um left away i is lower than right away uh sorry is lower than y away j okay we need to keep the lowest value okay i'm gonna say away k is equal to left away i otherwise that means if the value from the right size is the lowest one we need to keep the, the, the value from the right, the, the, right, the, the right size. Don't forget also to increment the i and the k. Otherwise, we will get to an infinite loop. Else, we're going to say away k 
physic photo, write uh, away uh, j, and we also, in this case, when I increment k, j and k. Great. Now, let's say that um, in case that the size of our right and left subarrays is different, probably we will get to a point where um, the value in one of the arrays, probably the, 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 the biggest one, there, there are some value in the biggest one that will not be visited inside of this loop. We need to take care of that. Okay, to take care of that, we are going to say while um, i is lower than left size, that means if i is lower than left size, that means probably all the value in the left sub away um, was not completely visited. We need to visit the remaining one. Okay, we're gonna say um, uh, away still k equal to on left away i we need also to increment i and also increment k we need to do the same thing for all a right to be away okay right we're going to say if j is lower than the right size it was not completely visited we're going to say r k is equal to white away of j. Uh -huh. Now we need to increment our i and increment our k. Now in this case, not i, j. Okay. All right. I don't know if there is any mistake, but probably everything should be fine. Now let's create a main method to test or algorithm out. So we are going to create an array that we're going to call my array. And uh, it's gonna be an integer constant. One, four, two, seven, three, eight, ten, nine, okay, six. Um, do we have five? Five. Okay. We are going to sort this array out using our merge sort uh, method. Let's call the merge sort method. The lower in this case will be zero. Zero, the index zero. And the upper bound will be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine okay we have 10 value but because we start index from zero probably the last index will be the upper bound or last index will be nine okay and here it will be called my away and after calling merge sort on my away if we try to point my away losing using the um, utility class arrays probably everything should be fine so let's call my away and let's try to run the program out okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right all right everyone thank you for watching out our video um, please if you don't do that yet subscribe to our channel and also click on the notification icon so you can receive a notification open our next videos thank you so much